So my vision of the future is that pretty much every device, everything that can be connected will be connected, whether that's cars or drones, which I think is going to be the topic of this conversation. Um, and you know, they will enable new business models that don't exist today. Uh, the consequence of that is that industries will be disrupted, some new industries will be created. Uh, so I think that the future will be very different than it is today. Drones have a big part to play uh, in many different fields of business. Um, you know, if you take something like uh, surveying, for example, uh, which historically has been going on for hundreds of years in a very kind of manual intensive way, drones can make that you know, supremely easy and very fast. Uh, but that is just one example of many in which you know, drones can have a role. So I think the essential elements of drone value proposition um, you know, include regulation, security, uh, connectivity, and you know, being able to process the data that comes from drones in a standardized way. You know, right now we're at a you know, rather a kind of a nascent phase when a lot of these things are either not mature or being developed. So they all have to be you know, developed to a level of maturity where they can enable the drone business to really take off. There are loads of use cases that are emerging and already being uh, deployed right now. So some of the more interesting ones are uh, agriculture, um, so drones being able to assess a field of crops and you know, tell whether the uh, level of irrigation is sufficient. Um, and then actually some drones can deliver uh, pesticides or fertilizers directly as well. Um, you know, others around sort of surveying, so being able to survey, for example, uh, open cast mines and assess the level of um, uh, inventory within the, within the mine domain. Um, you know, other ones around sort of uh, medical aid in emerging markets, for example. And that's actually one of the, the more interesting ones from a technology point of view, because uh, flying beyond line of sight is going to be one of the key technology developments for drones. Uh, so this means that the, the drone is either being manually flown by someone who can't actually see it, or it is flying in autonomous mode. Um, and this is going to be one of the, the kind of key developments that we see going into the future. So one of the applications uh, that I would love to see more of with drones, and it's happening already a bit, but it's the, it's the filming of wildlife in context. So for example, you know, maybe flying alongside a cheetah while it's hunting, so you can actually get a perspective that you would never all, you know, never otherwise see.